Hey there guys, Alex and Connor from the UK Game Bureau. Today we are going to be playing some UFC 3 and we're going to hit the career mode. That's right, I think we can do it on a pro difficulty. We don't want to make it too hard. Go pro? Yeah, let's give oh. ourselves a bit of a challenge. Oh boy, oh so, boy. So we're going to hit you, pro. Yeah, as you can see, easy is the new to view at EA UFC, which we are not. Oh really, that wasn't there before? That's new. No, I mean like we are not new oh, to we are the new. game itself. Oh, I see, I see. We know what we're doing. Sorry, yeah, you're a pro. I'm not playing. Yeah, exactly. I'm watching. I'm a spectator in this sport. Normal, played it before, looking for a bit of a challenge. This is experienced. Yeah. Legendary is a little bit too difficult. It's too I'll much. It's too much too soon. Yeah, the exactly. game's only been out a short time, so we want to hit pro, I think. You know, maybe in a few weeks I'll be able to nail it. Yeah. Until then. That could be the next series. Yeah. So what division are you going to go for? I think it's our first series. Mm -hmm. We want some big hitters. Yes. I say we go straight to the heavyweights. Start at the top. Start at the top. Baddest, man, the baddest man on the planet division. That is right. But do we be the baddest man on the planet? It's a tough choice. Or do we go with someone who maybe probably won't get the title in real life, but can right now? You want to build someone up? Maybe. Uh, let's have a little look through. Who we got? Mark Hunt. Look through. want someone who's quite well-rounded. What about we play as DC on heavyweight? Yeah. Predicting the future, aren't we? Can predict the future, get him up, fight the champion. What about that? How do you feel about that? I like the sound of that. DC heavyweight contender. DC, the newest heavyweight contender. Let's go. Because the man has won a lot of fights at heavyweight. He's a he he's a glorified he's a heavyweight as it is. You know, like his his skills at that division is crazy already. Well, yeah, he actually started his career heavyweight. He won the Grand Prix in Strike Force. Yeah. Which makes a lot incredible. of sense considering how much he hates cutting weight. <laughs> you can't believe I think he almost died, actually. When he was <laughs> I don't believe Olymp it. When he was in the Olympics. It's horrific. That weight cut is brutal. You can't blame him. And he's a big dude. Like, even up. at 205, he doesn't look, mm. like, stellar. That's a, it's a weird weight cut because he still looks kind of out of shape. He does. I mean, he's, he's really in shape. He's around the middle. Yeah, he just looks soft. <laughs> he does. Um, okay, right, so, so here's the intro. We'll skip that and just throws you straight into your first fight. Okay, so we're on, like, a... An amateur like promo. Yeah, when the WFA is just right. a local sort of MMA place. <laughs> Daniel Cormier. Daniel Cormier, 39 years <laughs> 39. old. We are going to be very old. Just soon. starting his career. Just starting his career. So we've got Herb right. Dean on the ref, so we're going to fight this guy. Oh, he doesn't so, want to touch gloves. Oh, he doesn't want to touch gloves. Doesn't. Right. He's, so. a, he's a tall, he's quite a tall heavyweight. He is very tall. We've got to remember DC's only like 5'10. DC's a short dude. I'm going to start like that. Ooh. Nice. Have you so have you fought this guy before? Is this guy on the career mode like always, or is it? I made? have not. I think they just randomly generate Random. people. And he, is he? He's on any? Is he like playable in any way on any of the rosters, or is he just no. in this mode? He's just in this yeah. mode. Okay. Just a random creator character in this mode. Right. Okay. So I'm just keeping my distance a bit, feeling his timing. I don't want to rush into something. Thinking he's quite a long fighter, isn't he? So exactly. And I need careful. to close the distance a bit. I go. can wrestle him. Yeah. So well. pretty wrestling's going to be your key here, I guess. It is. I suppose we went to the heavy hitter division and then went and picked a wrestler. So We did, but Daniel Cormier has some power in his hands too. It's very true. I mean, anyone at this sort of weight has power, don't they? So, um, I'm just trying to work my way in a bit, but he's very good at not overcommitting to anything. Yeah, he's, he's keeping his distance, smart. isn't he? He knows I'm a wrestler. He knows that I want to get in there. Yeah, he definitely wants to keep away from you. No, you got him up against the cage. cage. Shoot him for a yeah, good job. Boom, good guy. Nice. Right, so I'm gonna work. I'm just gonna block a few transitions. I think I'm gonna go straight to the full mount. Work it. And I'm just gonna try and pound him out quick. Yeah, you're still good. You got like two minutes fifty of this round left. You got loads of time. Oh, I'm okay. trying to reverse it. He's smart. Let's watch the stamina as well. Yes, yeah, your stamina's low. Yeah, there's transitions when you're on the top. Someone tries to escape. Oh, they cost a reason. lot. They take a lot mm. of stamina, do they? Yeah, it doesn't really impact the guy on the bottom as much. Oh, uh, okay. That's strange, but... Yeah, that's unusual. You think trying to get out of something like that yeah, would expend a bit more, more, more stamina. But that's unusual. Striking from the bottom, that's not smart. Okay, His please. block is really low, though. That was. I've taken this back. That's it. You might be able to finish it here, I possibly. Reckon, I reckon you can. I've got faith. Oh, no, you got to look at the stamina. Stamina's low again. It's very low. DC, you got to remember... This isn't DC max stats. This oh, is DC. okay. They reduce the stats. Yeah, we have right. to build the stats back up. Okay. This was DC max stats. He would have been out first punch. Yeah, I was gonna say. I suppose that it makes it realistic, doesn't it? Fighting on like a minor league. Fighting on. Oh, mess that one up. A minute That's left. Fine. It's fine. You got a minute left. But I think we're definitely winning this round so far. 100 percent. He's been down for most of it. Exactly. He's had a little bit on the feet. Oh, there we go. Nice little free piece there, Snoop Dogg would say. <laughs> oh, there we go. Rocked in. Done. A 
Let's see it. Let's see it. 40 Ouch. seconds left. Ouch. Oh. Oh wow. Transition straight away. Smart. Yeah, he's pretty good. This guy. All right, we'll posture up. See if we can finish him here. Oh, again. Pretty good with his transitions. Your stamina's low. Be careful. Yeah, it's okay. I think we're just going to wait this out. We'll just wait till the second round. So yeah, it's second there. left, yeah. You know what? That was a good round from the uh, from the AI there. A pretty good round. I guess it we're was. on pro. I got, we got to keep remembering they're on yeah. pro difficulty. Um, so it's not going to be any easy task. It's very true. But we hurt him at the end there. He was in big trouble. I mean, he was on his back at the end. Oh, again. He's oh, hurt wow. straight away. Straight off the bat. Uppercut, maybe. I'm going to go straight in for a single yeah. leg. Wrestle him down. Got a place with strength, even though this is obviously a new character. He is still a wrestler. His best stats are going to be on the ground and with his ground and pound. That's true. So we've got to keep to where he's best. Exactly. Every time I'm back, I'm going to go to the back flat just because it's another way of draining his stamina. Can posture up and land big shots like this. Doing well. Again. The AI is doing very well. Yeah, he's clever. He's fighting this clever, isn't he? He's just waiting until my stamina drops down a bit and then instantly transitioning. Smart game plan. But it's not going to win him a fight like that. At best, he'll survive no. to a decision. Which we don't want. We want the big finishes. We want the big finishes. We want the big money. We want all finishes here. We do, yeah. We want to have your record as all finishes. Some submissions. I want to see you know, some. I'm going to go for a choke. You want to try and choke him out? Yeah. I'm I'm sure we're doing rear naked choke, okay. You know, DC in real life, he has a lot of good rear naked chokes. Have you not really played this game and only haven't watched you? The the yeah. submission system is just baffling. Like, I don't understand. Even watching it doesn't make any sense. Once you get used to it, it's very simple. It's hard to do. It's a lot easier to um, defend submissions now. I feel yeah. like they've changed it a bit. I just remember from, like, watching and playing the first two games. Yeah. The EA ones. Just how hard the submission stuff is. There is actually simple submission on this game. Is it? I haven't turned it on, but I think that's literally just tapping a button. That seems like it's for me. <laughs> simple submission. I want it like WWE style, where you just like spam a button, and I if, think you, that's if exactly you press it you fast need. enough, you get a submission. That's what I need. I need that. You know, I'm confident I can knock this guy out on the feet. Yeah, I think you can too. You rock him. Say that I rock him. Boom. Nice. It's down. That's, that's going to be that's it. it. Done. That is it. We Done. have got our first Stop knockout that in heavyweight fight. division. Done. Fight is over. He is done. How much money did you get from that? Did you get some big moolah? Not much. Not much. It's our first ever fight. It's fine. No, yeah. on a small contract. Let's have a look at that overhand again. Boom. Nice. Clean. Didn't even have his hands up. No, it's all. Second round knockout. It's pretty good. DC, Daniel Cormier. It's good. And we finished him off with these shots here. He wasn't going to recover the amount of damage he'd really taken. He had no chance. There we go. What about Winner knockout? knockout? Good to see it. One and zero. One and zero. Yeah, I suppose so. Starting his career off early as a, a young thirty-nine year old. Yeah, young thirty-nine year old straight <laughs> into the sport. So if you're watching this currently, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing through the career mode uh, with this fighter. We're going to be showing you how the career mode works in the new game, and uh, just sort of yeah, just talking talking over it really. Yeah, it's having a bit of fun. But so as you see here, there's a longevity. Okay. What happens here in previous USC games? Mm -hmm. I remember one of them. It was forty-eight fights you could have, and then your career's over. I see. One of the earlier ones, you could get maybe 30, then right. it's over. This one... Goes on how much damage you take. It goes on how much damage you take. Oh, that's clever. So, for example, if my first five fights, I get absolutely stuck, knocked down multiple times, knocked out, yeah. my longevity might be on, like, 50%. Wow, yeah, okay. And obviously, the lower your longevity is, the easier you can take damage. So it just goes on how much damage you take. More likely to be knocked out. That's clever. Yeah. That is really smart. So, true to real life, if you just go out there, stand and bang... Yeah. You'll have a good career, but it'll be over quickly. Right, if you sort okay. of play it safe, wrestle a lot, don't get hit, you'll have a very, very long career. So also you've got this social media aspect of the game. Yes. Uh, so tweets and things like that come up after fights and you can send off things, right? That's right, I'll show you that Ooh. in just a minute. We're going to send some trash talk. We're going to send some... Uh, uh, you can't actually decide what you say. Oh, you can't? You, get, you can a little bit. Okay, we can't yeah. text anything. No, it's, it's a, a shame. series of options that it gives you. Because the way that me and you text people in GTA... We'd get in a lot of trouble. I have no idea what you're talking We'd about. We'd get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so right after this, you need to simulate your recovery. And then we have our fight offer. Okay. And how long did you, does it normally take? To, do you, does it depend on how well you do between the offer of the UFC? 
That is coming up very shortly, oh, my friend. Oh, that's also exciting. There's so many questions very, that very Connors shortly. won't answer. So let's explain. So are the green stats the ones that have gone up? Uh, green stats are ones that person is significantly higher. Oh, okay. So they're the best ones. Yes. Yeah, so as you can see, my stamina and my grappling trumps his, but his health and his striking is a lot better. You can also see he's 9 and 0. So that's quite a tough fight. So yeah. what else have we got? Oh, you got some offers. I see. Okay. So yeah. health and striking. So you've got two striking specialists. So this guy's there. 9 and 4, but he's actually a bit better if you look at the stats. Yep. He's a bit more well rounded. Yep. And this guy here is very weak in the grappling. So that's probably the guy you want to take. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this guy. What's that guy's name? Oliver Scott. Oliver Scott Oliver is about Scott. to be DC's next fixture. Looks like a preppy, like, American... Yeah. Uh, like um, a, I'd, I'd say wrestler, but obviously not a wrestler. We are the big American jock, and we are going to take him down and smash his face in. I'm excited for it. So, something else new to this game... Okay. ...is how you schedule your, your camps and your training. Right. So, for this fight, I have See, three on weeks. the last page, it said three-week camp. That's yeah. to do with this. Right? I have a three-week camp. So, for nothing, I can just stay in my basement gym. Right. I can train like that. Or, from the money that I've earned from my last fight, I can purchase a membership at an actual gym and train with other fighters. Okay. So, I'm going to go to a wrestling gym. Francis Nagani is at the top of this one. He is, but you have to be a very high level if you want to train with someone that good. <laughs> we are going to be training with Samuel Livingston. Ooh. Mm. Can't wait. Can't wait to meet Sam. So, as you can see, we have now purchased our membership. I'm going to have three weeks of training because we have the money to do so. And I'm confident that we can win this fight. That cost you loads. It did. 600 a week. Wow, okay. For my training camp. But then your return from this fight, if you it's it's like 1,600, right? Because it was yeah, so 600 to show it. and 1,000 to I'll make win. Up for it. Of course, if you look at my contract goals, I am very close to being able to get a new contract. I only need to win two fights in a row and win two fights by stopping in the first round for okay. extra money. Right. So, upcoming fight. So, the training on this one's a lot different than it was before. It's all simulated now. Good. So, as you can see, it Seems gives like us a, good thing. a bunch of options. Yeah. And it tells you how much, we'll call it points, that it's going to take. So, I have 100 per week. Okay. And I need to spread it out. As you can see, it has my fitness there. I need to get between 95% and 105% to be at optimal fitness. Sounds about right. So, if I overtrain, I'm going to come into the fight not looking good. If okay. I'm under-trained, also not going to look good. Sure, okay, that makes sense. So, I'm going to do a bit of ground and pound work. Yeah. Get my power up, get my endurance up. Bit of wrestling. Right now, I'm just trying to even out my stats a little bit. Yeah. I'm not trying to get build myself the, all get up Get them out of the area. 50s, too. I'd say yeah. get your striking out a little bit. It's going to be very hard to do at a wrestling gym. Oh, yeah, of course it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. So, so, a wrestling gym doesn't train other aspects at all. It will do striking, but not... Not to, to the level of extent. a striking gym. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of different ways of wrestling training in this game. Okay. If you go to a wrestling gym. Sure. Whereas at a striking gym, you can still train wrestling, but it's maybe one or two games instead of, you know, four yeah, or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So what we're also going to do is we're going to promote our next fight. We're going to send our first tweet. Well, this is exciting. Let's see what the game says we're going to say. So this is going to be... Uh, so Oliver Scott, better watch out. No one... Is out training me. He's right. We are training harder than any UFC oh, heavyweight. No one is right out now. training, right? Okay, that makes sense. I read that without. There was, was there any punctuation in that? I feel like I didn't no, make that sense. wasn't. It's our first tweet, you know. I thought like I said like no one is out training me, so then no one's training him. So that's not a brag. You're not being trained. <laughs> be a brag that makes sense. No one is out training, right? No so what we're gonna do now me. is we're gonna do a bit of sparring. It's gonna get our fitness up a lot, and as well as we if we complete our spar, we'll unlock a key to victory. So either tell us... Sounds some, important. It'll tell us a weakness, or it'll tell us something to look out for. Looks like John Jones. Does a bit. Ironic. All I need to do is survive a minute with him. Just survive a minute with John Jones, look like. Yeah, I think DC can do that. DC's history says otherwise. He lasted longer than a minute. It did, that's true. That'll be the final nail in the coffin when he comes back for the third fight against John Jones. He gets banged in a minute. That would just be so unfortunate. Sad, DC does it? not deserve that. He doesn't deserve that. He's claiming he could be the greatest of all time. I think he could be. Possibly could be. Very well could be. So what I'm doing here is I'm just sticking and moving a bit. I'm not too worried about taking damage. If you get dropped in this, or you get rot, you do lose a bit of fitness. And I believe oh. you might actually lose some longevity. So if oh. you're going out in the gym and just absolutely throwing it, your Yeah, if you're hard partners, sparring, yeah. Yeah. It's not going to end well for you. Which is very realistic. I like that they've done that. Mm. Incorporate a lot more real life stuff into it now. It'd be nice if the uh, if there was like a softer 
sparring though. If like you can choose to, to yeah. be hit by lesser punches, because not all sparring is full contact, you know. So it'd be quite nice if they added. Yeah, like some headgear on maybe. Yeah, headgear and just to take off some of the damage. Yeah. Because it's a bit unfair you taking longevity off yourself when you could be training lighter, you know. This is a very ironic key to victory. My opponent tends to lead into roundhouse kicks. That's so perfect. If, so if I start throwing some head kicks, yeah, you know I might catch him. That being said, I'm not sure our stocky wrestler actually has head kicks. Also, going, going for the takedown, he's going to be on one leg. Could be a good opportunity, very true. going opportunity to take him down. That's very true. As a wrestler, as a especially coming out of this outstanding wrestling gym that we've just come out of. Yeah. With Francis Nugano at the top of the food exactly. chain. Exactly. You know we are. Training with Francis Nagano in our wrestling, so we are going to be top notch. That great wrestler, Francis Nagano. Yeah, I think he's the best wrestler in heavyweight. I've heard that too. Yep. I've heard really he trains with Olympic level wrestlers and he takes them down. I've heard like that. Like DC. I've heard that. I've heard he understood what wrestling was before he fought the champion. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is we are going to take an ice bath. It costs a bit of money, but what it does is it lowers our fitness a bit. 500 bucks for some ice. It's a big bath. DC's a big dude. He's a big bloke, I know, but that's a lot of money it's for a lot some of ice. Oh. So as you can see, what this has done oh, now is it's taken our peak fitness down, uh, which means we can now train more and not be overtrained. Great. And it was a rough day in the in the bath. It was a rough day. DC tweeted. You know, luckily we don't have to cut weight anymore. That is lucky. Yeah, you can't be any any bigger, really, can you? Exactly. DC can eat all those donuts he wants. So what I've done is I've saved 40 points here. So I want to learn some new moves and perks. You want to learn something? So I can do. So I can choose a training partner. Samuel Livingstone. Or Monix Boss. Mm. Or Pierce Rojas. Ooh. As you can see, they each give me different moves or perks to unlock. Right. So, so like Pokemon trainers. Kind of, You just yeah. like find them in the wild and they can give you things. That's a very great analogy. I like that. Huh. So I'm going to go with Monix Boss. Right. Purely because he has a ground and pound perk. He does. And he has a Jiu-Jitsu Transitions perk. This will okay. help me get up if I get taken down myself. Right, so we just have to punch this guy five times in this position within 30 seconds. Looks really easy. Yeah, if he pulls me down, it's very easy to get back up. Good. It's just when he transitions and actually flips you over. Right. It's very hard. It's very hard to stop that shot. As you see here, just punching him multiple times in the face. There we go. Nice and simple. Easy. Yeah, first, first time. First time. Definitely first time. Wow. Oh, there was, there was a restart button as well. You didn't even need that. Yeah, exactly. There's a try again button, you Jeez. know, if you don't manage to do it first time. Wow. If, if you're not as good as me. Yeah, yeah, you smashed mm. that. Good job, man. That was, that was really excellent. So what I do now is I can apply my perks. I just have a one now. There we go. Increases my power attribute by one for ground strikes. Oh, so it's only a level one perk. You can get much better perks later on. But this low level of the game, I'm just getting in. Can't expect too much. We've only got $1,300 to our name. You're right, but I feel like we're, about, we're on the verge of being a superstar, you know? I can feel it. You know, with a restart button, we are going to be undefeated. So how far away are we from our next fight? That's a very good question. It's coming up. It's coming. Right now. Oh, right now. Wow. It's a low fight. Why was there a low fight hype? Do we do not do something in the hype department? Not entirely. It's purely because of the level we are. No one really cares. If we're at a much higher level, it's a lot easier. The more followers we have. Mm -hmm. So with the social media on this game is how you build hype for your fight. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you have a champion, it's a lot easier. You can go on sports shows. You can have photo shoots. Wow. You can attend events. But at this low level, all I can do is send a tweet to well, my 34 followers. So here we are. We are facing Oliver Scott from England. He has quite a lot of reach on me. 15 inches of reach. Yeah, I guess you got to get used to that. As the Americans, me, that is right? 6 inches. It's Daniel Cormier, you've got to get used to yeah. that. Because he's a short guy, stocky, not very tall. So his reach is always going to be slightly less than the bigger, longer guys. The John Joneses, the Stipes, you know. Yeah, the good thing about DC is he's always going to be fighting taller people. Whereas these taller people aren't always going to be fighting shorter people like DC. So I do have an advantage in that sense. Right, so here I'm just peppering with shots. I'm just going for an early knockout. I just feel confident. I feel like I can do them on my feet. Also, remember that his takedown wasn't great. And the takedown he, wasn't and he, great. He led into roundhouse kicks, right? He did. But we decided we might not have had any roundhouse kicks. No, we don't. I don't really want to risk just throwing a wild kick. Yeah. Especially since... Oh, baby, go with Rockton. 
They've rocked him already. Oh, he's down, he's down. A follow up? Oh, I didn't have a follow up. If you're listening, you can hear a big lovely doggy. We've got a doggy sat next to us. There's a lovely dog sat next to us who wants a bit of attention. He did, he went at a stroke, so he's here. And watching the fights as well. As you can see, we are just tagging this guy up. He has no defence. Look at that. Yeah, his head's low. So yeah, I think we just can keep this on the feet, and I think we can finish it standing, honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, our record's pretty good with the knockouts. 1-0 in the knockout department. 100% knockout, knockout rate. success, yeah, good for us. You know, he's decided to clinch me anyway, so I'll throw him down. Let's see if he tries to transition. Well, you, you're practised at this, the transitions and the head punches. Oh, yeah, I've got a lot of transitions here. We are literally just doing this. Yeah. So, so we go to the same position. Wow, look at that. We've practised that. Look at this. I can even throw some elbows if I like. It's a shame you only did that once before because... Yeah, if I had a lot more, more practice, practice than yeah, that. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, better. I think he's actually cut me open, you know. Yeah, he's someone's... Oh, so nice. Just throw some some elbows big elbows on big. him. With our new ground and pound Those perk. Those are good elbows. That oh, was part of that goes. perk, was it? Yeah, it just gives me a bit more damage. Oh, he went for a kick there. See, that's... Oh, oh he's ran a few. Your time to take down would have been right then. Oh, but he's hurt again. He's hurt again. Feet. Boom. Boom. Knocked out. First Cold. round. First round. Good job. Overhand knockout. Good job. That you. overhand has caused that knockout both times. My word. First time it dropped in, we finished him up some strikes. This time, out cold as he landed. What a great time that was. As you see here. Oh, no, it's a threat. There we go. And then you get to cash in your 1600 buckaroonies that you got for that. That is right. So bad is but it? More importantly, we are now two and zero. Oh. Is there any? So is there any like fight of the night bonus or on, at this stage of the game? Obviously, when you UFC, get to the UFC, there is yes, then. there is. Okay. At this stage, no. There so you just get your money. You got some contract goals. As you see, look at our longevity. Yeah. We are not getting touched. It dropped by 0.5 that time. So that's pretty great. Exactly. Two fights, and we haven't even lost a percent. At this rate, we could have what? Two hundred fights. Wow. Hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, of course. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure as soon as we're facing some big hitters, I'm going to get clipped a bit. Might even get finished, might get knocked out, who knows. That's true. We will not edit out any losses in this. If no, I no, lose, yeah, no losses. I lose. Yep. We're gonna but I think we can go we're undefeated. Gonna, we're gonna, I think so too, we're going to play its course. As yeah. you can see now, I've got some friendly people tweeting at me. That fighter didn't even see that punch coming, he only saw it going back. Boom. Got a nice bit of support for me. Yeah. Well, two people saw my fight got some and decided to tweet nice at me. So I think we should leave this episode here. Yeah. And then start again in the next episode, which That's right. will probably be out pretty soon. Um, and then we'll continue our career mode then. And I'll give you a little bit of hype for the next episode. Oh. There are going to be some special guests watching our fight. Well, that's exciting. That's very exciting. So you want to see who they are? Better tune in next tune time. Tune in next time. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be posting regular episodes of this. And they'll be up in the coming weeks, probably a few a week, hopefully, we're aiming to get up. Yeah, about one or two a week. One or two a week. So yeah, please subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, we're going to be back next time playing more career mode. Bye!